Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, let's get down to business, the return of Devin the Dream Haney, it's going down September 28th, 2018 against Juan Carlos Burgos, and I like this fight for Devin Haney, I like this fight for Devin Haney, uh, it seems like he's been getting away from the, um, social media beefs and and things like that with guys that he's just not going to be able to get into the ring with right now he's beefing with tank davis at one point he was beefing with shakur stevenson at one point um he was rumored to, to have been dating black china for a couple of seconds and it just seems like he's putting all of the uh you know, all of the BS, all of the bullshit to the side, and it just seemed like he's really just getting down to business. Now, Devin Haney was in the news recently for being the youngest boxer to get his promoter's license. So he has Devin Haney promotions, and he's um, basically under his own banner. And that's huge for a kid that's 19. Like, him and his team gets it. At the end of the day, because they could have just signed to Mayweather Promotions, could have just signed to Bob Aaron Top Rank, could have signed to Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy or Eddie Hearn, could have signed to any big company, but they get it. They get it. They're not looking at the short term bag. They're looking at the long term bag. So they know if they under their own promotional company, then they have their own pull. They have their own pool. They're running their own show. Now, the one thing I will tell Devin Haney is every big-time athlete has a power broker in the background. Floyd Mayweather, he has Al Heyman. Take a LeBron James. LeBron James has a power broker in his background. Kobe Bryant had a power broker. Michael Jordan had a power broker. All, all great athletes that have their own have a power broker in the background working deals for them, making sure that they straight from a business standpoint. They have a, a team that's, that's powerful. So just because you have your own doesn't mean you have to do everything by yourself. So hopefully Devin Haney and his team realize that and they build a powerful team that can make some moves for Devin Haney and Devin Haney promotions. Because there's too many people that quote unquote have their own promotional company, but it's just on paper. I mean, hell, you can fill out you can fill out a document for one hundred twenty five dollars and seventy dollars for the name, and you got an LLC, you got a business. But are you actually in business? Like, are you doing business? Like, are you a boss for real, or are you just on paper? Well, it looked like Devin Haney's taking the proper steps to becoming just a, a boss in boxing in terms of. The business aspect he's definitely betting on himself and he's betting on himself long term and that's a great thing so for that alone i'll always be a fan of devin haney now in terms of this fight with juan carlos burgos uh burgos lost to mikey garcia he's been in the ring with some other uh good competition he is a name this is another step in the progression of devin haney now I don't have any doubts that Devin Haney's going to win this fight. No doubts at all. What I actually want to see out of Devin Haney is some of this dog that he be having while he be sparring. He spars certain guys and he just he just walk them down, mow them down, throw them body shots, quick combinations, and he's like in kill mode. I haven't seen Devin Haney 
in a fight fight in kill mode. So I would love to see Devin Haney get a knockout in this fight. I would love to see Devin Haney go into kill mode in a sense. Because his last fight was against Mason Menard. And that was on Showtime. And he, don't get me wrong, that was in my city. That was in Philly um, at the 2200 Arena. And he put on a show. He put on a show. He put on a boxing clinic. But he didn't... You know, he wasn't in kill mode, basically. Like, he just boxed his ears off, and the fight ended up being stopped. Like, I just want to see him work on different aspects of his game in a live fight. You know, walking guys down, fighting on the inside, working on his inside game. Just get some rounds in, but work on your game, and and then just... Don't be afraid to be in the pocket at times. Be confident in your defense on the inside and mid-range. I just want to see him do some of the things that he does in sparring in an actual fight. And I think this is the perfect fight, the perfect opponent, and the perfect opportunity for Devin Haney to do so. And sky's the limit for this kid. Sky's the limit for this kid. I do think he's the goods. Um, There's very few guys in boxing, young guys that I think is the goods, and I think Devin Haney is one of those guys. And after this fight, if he gets through it okay, I would just like for them to gradually move him up in competition. You know, um, put him in with a, you know, put him in with a live dog. You know, of course, you know, the opponent wouldn't be favored against Devin Haney, you know, any fight that's going to come up right now. But you know, a, a guy like um, take like a like a Hank Lundy. That's a that's a good fight for Devin Haney. Like that that's a good fight. Um, there's a couple other guys that would be good fights for Devin Haney that have a name that's gonna present a little bit of a puzzle, but a fight that's a very very winnable fight. You know, and I I think they should just be looking to step up gradually, step up the competition after this fight because I just don't think Burgos has a whole lot to offer at this point during his career but I'm okay with the fight because when you're building up a young guy you put him up against guys that have a name with the boxing hardcores but they're kind of like on the the back half of their career you know like their best days are behind them and Juan Carlos Burgos is is one of those type of guys so this is like right on schedule this is right on schedule. So I'm looking forward to seeing Devin Haney um, on the 28th and see what he does inside of the ring, how good he looks, and what new wrinkles he's added to his game. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.